Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Germany. All right, before we get started, I'd like to talk about one thing, and that is uh, three weeks ago, I applied to the Paradox Affiliate Program, and today I just got accepted into the program. And what that is, is it allows me to uh, put links to the uh, Paradox store for uh, specific games or DLCs, and if you use those links, then I'll get a small percentage of the revenue earned from them. Uh, so I'll be putting those into all of my videos from now on. Uh, I already put links to the games uh, in the Steam, usually the Steam store. If it's a PlayStation game, then obviously we do the PlayStation store. Uh, but for the Paradox content, I usually have the uh, link to the to the Steam uh, entry for that particular game or DLC. Uh, but from now on, I'll be using the the links uh, for the Paradox store. So that's the main thing that's changing. So the, the, those links will still be down in the description of all my videos. And uh, if, you're, if you're looking at buying buying a game, a Paradox game or a DLC, then might as well use that link. It does give you a um, you know a code to, to use on Steam. I don't have any unique discount codes or anything like that. Uh, but you know, if, if there was a sale going on in the, the Paradox store, you'd still get that that sale price. Uh, but basically, it's just if if you're going to buy the game or DLC, anyways, might as well use my link uh, to kind of help out the channel because, as some of you guys know, uh, I'm having some trouble at my work here coming up here in July. Uh, it's at, at the end of July. Uh, a bunch of my hours are getting cut. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm just right now trying to find other other sources of revenue because I would really don't want to have to quit that job and go to another job because if I did, I, I really don't know what happened with the YouTube because my current schedule at my job is the only thing that really allows me to, uh, you know, I do the long, long shifts and fewer shifts. Uh, so it gives me, you know, several days of the week where I don't have to go to work, uh, where I can do YouTube. And then I do, you know, you know, I typically do all my YouTube on, on those three, three or four days of the week. And so, yeah, if I have to go to a regular, go back to like a regular schedule where I'm working, you know, five, sometimes six days a week. That's what I was working. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know uh, if I'll still be able to do YouTube at that point. So I'm, I'm really trying to not have to go look for another job uh, and, and be able to stay in the one I'm at with the hours that they're cutting, which like I said, it's not going to be much. It's about half of the hours I get right now, or, or a little bit more than half, uh, but it's going to be a big dip in my income. So yeah, just trying to find other ways to, to you know, earn revenue. Th then this video here will have links to both uh, Hearts of Iron 4 and the Man the Guns DLC. So if you haven't picked either of those up and you'd like to, then maybe check those links out, try and help the channel out a little bit. I would certainly appreciate it. Uh, so so yeah, you can expect that in all of my, my Paradox uh, videos from here on out. All right guys, so let's go to get started. Uh, I went ahead and already created the, you know, the cavalry uh, garrison army, signed them to some of these garrison spots, you know, the ones we don't have troops in just yet. Uh, or that have the troops have pulled beyond. Uh, so they'll start garrisoning that for us. Uh, and I think I've already, yeah, we already deleted that. Got troops training over here. Uh, we'll let the cavalry continue to train. We, I think we only need six divisions to carry, uh, to cover all those garrisoned uh, areas. So not much. And we have eight there, nine there. So these guys can continue training and get us uh, some more experience. And we're going to make use of that experience now, guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and stop training these guys didn't get very far along just the third the last five I should say that I added because we're going to go ahead and start building some of these guys or actually it'd probably be better if we changed these ones up on this front first yeah that would be better but what I would like to do is go ahead and get some of those uh, uh, some of those colonial troops training up because maybe we might be able to get them over there before the allies declare war and essentially I'm gonna deploy them immediately pretty much as soon as they are ready to go uh, we won't even yeah, I don't even think we're going to uh, have them go in this trained army. We can train them when they get there because we have such a limited time uh, to get them over there. So we're going to do five divisions and then just send them the moment they get enough training done. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, what are they lacking? Uh, let's take a look here. Artillery. We're still lacking pretty bad in artillery. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's go and change up these division designs, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, we have to design these first. I made a new one uh, because the, we, the last design was based off of the early version of the Pussy Pouncers, which didn't have all of these filled out. So I think I did the math here and I think it was a little bit more experience using that, that other model that we had. So we'll use this one here, this design, and let's go ahead and change them up. Uh, what are we going to do different here? All right, obviously we want to get them up to 40 whiz. Uh, we're going to need to have, we should be able to put them all on this line here. Yeah, this will work. So we're going to add a ton of artillery. I like my artillery. We're gonna add anti-tanks as well. And then we're gonna get another line of anti-tanks. In fact, it'd probably be better to do it this way. Because there are some bonuses that apply to, oops, to having 
the first rank here uh, and so you want that on your artillery uh, so that looks pretty squared away for our, yeah i think this is gonna be good for our uh, backup here and the rest is just gonna be infantry we do want to change these guys up i don't know if i'm gonna have the experience i guess we'll find out uh, hopefully so uh, so we've got the field hospitals we've got recons we got support artillery and we have anti-tanks so we're gonna want to change these guys up uh one of them at least to logistics hmm let's do the anti-tanks to logistics yeah all right so that looks pretty good and now we just need to add uh some regular infantry battalions in here to get us up to the 40 combat width it's gonna be kind of close i didn't check beforehand if we we're gonna have enough experience it looks like we're gonna be just enough oh would you look at that all right we just fit the 40 width all right excellent so this is the way it's gonna look it's pretty basic uh but the point is, is high organization here. We could always give them a bit more like artillery or even a bit more anti-tanks to increase that heart attack a bit uh, if we wanted to. Uh, but I really want them to have like a good uh, amount of, um, you know, a good amount of uh, organization here. Uh, so I think we're gonna probably keep it like this. I don't really see anything else that we could take and put in there that I think would be worth it. Uh, we don't have anti-air. I would put anti-air in if we had those, but we don't. Yeah, I think that the rest is, this is pretty good, guys. We can always make adjustments in the future if we want. And that's just enough experience as well, uh, so we couldn't have made any further adjustments any damn way. All right, so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and change up some of the divisions on these fronts here. Uh, we'll do like a couple on this one. We can only really do a couple at a time, honestly, uh, because these are going to be expensive uh, to change up as far as equipment goes. So we can take a look at what it's all going to cost here. You can see it's it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff we don't have too, as well with the, you know the artillery. Uh, it's not that bad though, I suppose Yeah, I guess it's not as bad as I was thinking. All right, we're gonna change two up on this front here And then let's go ahead and change up a couple on this front as well. Uh, we'll do these guys here and then like uh, just a Couple divisions here guys. I think that's probably good. Yeah, just two divisions at a time I think Because we're still building a lot of divisions There we go all right, we don't want to do too much. We're going to need to train those as well, and I don't want the whole front training. Uh, we could do a couple on this front, uh, too. I think that'd be useful. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's put, uh, let me just see here. I guess it's this guy here, and then this guy here. And that'll be good for right now. Six total divisions that we switched up. You know, that's going to cause some problems, of course, with our equipment, but hopefully not too bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some stuff building as well. Uh, I want to get infrastructure built up in a couple places. We want to get it up to at least five so we don't have any supply issues. I mean, we're pretty much good. Yeah, we're good just about everywhere except for that one spot. All right, so that's what we're going to do there. Uh, and then the other thing is, I realize we could be stockpiling equipment while we're not at war with the Allies, so we still can kind of uh, trade with the United States for fuel. So let's go ahead and build up our stockpiles. And in order to get it as high as possible, we're going to want to make sure that we have some fuel silos. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some fuel silos in. And we'll just place them into, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't really want to do 50% though. We'll do 60s. And right there. So I'm thinking, well, I don't really know how much we're going to need actually. That might be a bit more than we need. So let's just do, we'll just be conservative with this and do it uh, just two for right now. All right, get these all ticked up to the top, and we might, in fact, actually be able to get a couple more things. Uh, let's get some more military factories, as always, always needing them. Uh, do we have the next level of radar stations? We do not. We have not researched those yet. All right, a little bit behind on that, apparently. Uh, let's go and do more military factories, guys. And do the route here, and yeah, we'll do one right there as well. All right, so that we can uh, make sure that we keep our equipment flowing. All right, so last episode, we uh, really pushed forward. Uh, we're having a lot of success against the Soviets. The Soviets are, uh, they're, they're, they're never very strong, the AI Soviets, uh, but typically if you let them get to like 42 or 43, then they can put up a little bit of a fight. Uh, but they, this war started in 1939, and the Soviets are extremely weak in 1939. I don't know why they attacked us. That's what I was saying. I thought it was kind of stupid that they attacked us and why I was expecting them not to, because it was such a foolish attack. Uh, but. They did. They, they they launched the attack, and now they're gonna pay for it. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna lose uh, when they could have waited, because I wasn't gonna go to war with them uh, initially. I was gonna wait, uh, but yeah, they, they they forced my hand, guys. All right, so let's go attack here with these guys. Should better get a win there. That does look like they're moving some troops. That's okay. All right, and then these guys here will wrap that up for us. 
All right, looking pretty good on this front. Let's take a look down here, and I think we're about to get, yeah, these, these guys are about to get to their current order, so let's give them a new one. So that they keep getting that planning bonus. Uh, we're not really using those, so that's why I don't really, uh, really care that they're not, um, you know, optimum. Since we're not having the AI control these. Going, you can see this front here is also wide open. We now I know we killed a lot of divisions, but good God, I wasn't expecting it to be so open like this. Uh, it's really kind of giving us a lot of opportunities to advance here for free. Yeah, it's kind of silly on their part. But I, I don't know what they're doing. I think they're just mainly moving troops. Once again, like I said, I think they, they did lose some. Damn, we sunk 20 convoys there. All right, that's nice. All right, really hurting them. Uh, let's take a look over here. Also, I did send some naval bombers to the Mediterranean, those ones that we had training over here. Uh, I set up the, the planes. I don't know if you guys want to see what that looks like. Uh, so we have a bit more planes here, but frankly not enough uh, to really control the skies. And then I also sent up, uh, set up uh, some naval bombers over here to kind of help sink those Greek ships, maybe the submarines if we can catch them. That'd be nice. We'll have to see what happens there. All right, so let's keep these guys advancing. I think we have somebody yeah, grabbing that up for us. Let's go ahead and have this tank unit come over here. Uh, we're gonna try and get Leningrad, guys. There's nobody here to stop us, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get it. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy attack over here. And then let's advance. Where's this guy going? He's going that way, so let's have this guy go this way. Nobody over here now, excellent. So I'm gonna grab that. But yeah, this front should move pretty quick. Oh, Leningrad's defended. All right, and we can't really cut them off either without going all the way around here, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. All right, that's a shame. I was hoping it wouldn't be defended, but yeah, they do have some troops there. Uh, and then we sunk another convoy here as well. All right, uh, we do need to keep an eye on these these guys here. Uh, when they get enough uh, training done, obviously they just started, so it's gonna take them a little while, but uh, I wanna make sure that they don't train uh, beyond what they need to. And then of course we have these guys here that are getting equipment as well. I think they have a priority for equipment too, since they're uh, not training. You know what, we'll just attack over this way. At least lock that guy down. And you know what, let's attack that guy too, and we'll get a win there. I wasn't expecting that. I was mainly attacking just for the purpose of locking him down. Let's go and have that guy move there. Actually, let's have this dude do do that. And this guy will go to go after. I think we already have somebody going after Novgorod. Yeah, we do. Let's go that way then. All right, and we still have troops that coming up from the back here. Let's have them take the, well, I mean, they're pretty quick. I don't think I need to have them take the railroads. All right, so yeah, just really slow going, guys, as I manually control all this, um, as, as you'd expect. Uh, it's going to be kind of slow, uh, but that's okay. Uh, and these guys are not assigned to that front, so let's go to make sure they get, get assigned. And then we're going to have this guy go over this way. Grab that province for us. Still waiting on some tanks getting onto the front there. Uh, these guys can be assigned to this front. Uh, remember, there's, there's. Uh, oh, well, that's all of them. All right. So I was gonna say that we didn't have all of our divisions assigned, but we do now. All right. So let's take a look. We did take this here. Um, these guys are pretty weak. They're taking some attrition as well. Not quite sure why that is. I wonder if we'll be able to win here. It's pretty damn close. Let's attack here and see if that's a, that is a win. All right. Excellent. Let's go on and take that province there. Have this guy support in that attack. And once again, just taking advantage of opportunities where they present, present themselves, like that right there, you know, where they have an open province, there's nobody there to stop us. We'll attack there, he's clearly taking the railroads. Move here as well. Let's have this guy push forward here. He might end up having to fight that guy, which would not be desirable. When does he get there? Nine hours, when do we get there? 20 hours, all right, we'll just go this way then. Or in fact, we can go that way. We'll probably beat him. And then we'll have this guy go up this province here. And should get those wrapped up soon. This guy's coming to leave Leningrad, which is actually desirable for us. Uh, would be a good... I know that this technically will cut him off. Um, that's not that big of a problem, because we're about to get this province here. And in fact, we'll go ahead and make sure that we secure that province. And so, yeah, if these guys get cut off, it's not a big deal. In fact, what we could do... No, no, we don't need to do that. We'll go ahead and grab that province up there. And maybe, hopefully, make it so that we can grab Leningrad easily. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that ends up going. Uh, did enter into February. All right, awesome. Uh, and some of these I almost want to put under AI control so that I'm not, because some of these aren't really going as efficiently as I could uh, because I'm, you know, controlling it myself. So it would go a little bit more efficient if it was in AI hands uh, with, with certain areas. I just don't want them, like, doing some of the really stupid attacks they do. Man, they just... I just... It's nonsensical. Like, some of the attacks they do, I just... I don't understand it. Like, why there's no, like, they haven't done better programming for the AI at this point. It just feels like they should have. 
uh, as, as old as the game is now. It's been out for a while, so that the whole like us excusing you know, it for, oh, it's gonna get better. It's like, well, yeah, it's gonna get better, but it should already be there. So I'm a little bit surprised it hasn't improved more uh, over the time. Uh, there hasn't been as many DLCs as well as most other Paradox games, which has been pretty interesting to me. Uh, it looks like we weren't able to get Novgorod. They actually had some defending there, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, so they're gonna come over here, but we're about to grab that province. It's not a problem. And we'll keep this connected. Let's go to gra grab that province behind these guys. And then let's let's attack these guys, see if we can get a win. We can. All right, now let's try for Novgorod again. It does look like we're gonna get it. Excellent. Just looking for other openings. He's grabbing that province. It looks like we already have somebody going in that one. So let's just have this guy go across the river then. And we already have somebody going over that way, but it's fine. We'll send a couple there. Those are like we'll lose that uh, attack there. Can we win this one? Uh, we cannot, so we'll go and pull it back. Stop it. Uh, and there's an opening here as well. And they might be locked down because it looks like some of our allies are attacking over there. And we'll go and attack here as well. Actually, I wonder if I can get control of this. Probably not. Let's let's take a look and see if they'll give us. It doesn't look like he's going to give me control of anything. Yeah, I don't know why I don't really have much control over my puppets as the access. Like, you can't even... I know that they're satellites, but yeah, we can't even, like, build in their lands either, which is interesting. And that includes the Hungarians and the Romanians. We can't can't build in their lands, uh, which is a little bit surprising to me. I wasn't expecting to see that. Uh, let's go and put these guys in, and then we're going to go and increase their uh, orders. Oops. Oh, man. Give them a little bit more garrison area here to uh, handle up. I'm not going to garrison their stuff for them. They can do that themselves. If they're not going to give it to me, then they can garrison it. All right, just kind of slowly assign these. So not doing uh, too much more than we have to. All right, so they'll take care of that for us. And then let me just take a look. I know I'm like, yeah, these guys are nowhere in close. I'm being super cautious with that, guys. Like, overly cautious. All right, so what we need to do is grab this territory here. If we grab, actually we should probably go this way first so we can get them cut off sooner. Um, they might actually be, yeah, they're already cut off. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, so yeah, they should be cut off there then they just get reconnected there. All right, but that's a shame and we in fact still got cut off. All right, well, we're still gonna try and get over here. It looks like these guys should block them. I don't actually want them to get blocked. I want them to go across here. Uh, so let's see if we can't like retreat here. And then we'll go this way. I want them to get across the river if we can we can make that happen. All right, let's go ahead and attack across the river with these dudes. And what's going on over here? It looks like it got a little bit messed up. Yeah, the front's a little bit messed up. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and change this up then. Let's do these guys here and these guys here. All right, let's go and push forward. Grab these provinces up. Well, we can. I don't know if we'll beat them. We'll see if we can. Uh, never mind, it's irrelevant. Uh, we'll go ahead and take. Well, they're moving on the railroad, so it's. Can't beat them. Uh, so, is it still just the Soviet Union? Yeah, it's just the Soviet Union there to uh, justify against Romania. Let's take a look at what happened over here. If our planes were successful at doing a little bit of damage, it looks like that's a no, and we're still losing convoys there, unfortunately. Alright, well, that's a bummer, uh, but not surprising. Uh, so, let's go and take these troops now and get them put into, like, a special training army here. Uh, did they not need uh, the new ones that we built? They might not have their manpower yet. Oh, they don't have their manpower yet. All right, well, I'm expecting that they'll need some training, but we'll wait to place them in there. Let's just do an, a little uh, special training army up here. And they'll be our they'll be our yellow training army, I suppose. And then we're gonna take uh, the divisions on this front that need to be trained, and there might not be any at this point, not because they haven't got their manpower yet. Uh, I don't know if any of these guys need to train. I assume the mountain troops might. No, maybe not. All right, let's go and place them into there. And I will wait until they actually say they need to be trained for the experience, once I get their manpower, you know, before we do that. All right, so they have moved across here. That's exactly what I was hoping. Let's go ahead and grab Leningrad now. And then we'll take these guys. In fact, we should do this the faster division. Have them go over here. And then let's attack these guys uh, to lock them down so that we can get them cut off from their supply in Leningrad. We'll have to take both of these provinces to do that. And uh, just wipe out another, another division, guys. All right, let's have this guy attack here. Well, this one goes this way, and then he's gonna grab that. All right, and let's just have him advance a little bit further. Uh, still a lot of troops on this uh, front, interestingly right. enough. It's gonna push forward up here. Right. Kiev is wide open, so we'll go and attack. 
Try to get us some victory points. Nice victory points, in fact. It's going to go across there, though we might end up getting beaten. What we'll have to do is attack those guys so that they can't uh, stop us. And, okay, so the, the tanks are going to go ahead and move. Actually, let's go this way. While these tanks here are going to wrap this up nice and fast, they can take care of it. And this guy here is going to come over this way. And we already have that guy got orders to take all that over for us. And I almost want to have him go and meet up here with the tanks. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll have them meet, meet, meet with each other. And we'll get all that taken over. All right, looking pretty good. The Soviet Union just doesn't have the troop numbers, I feel. Uh, and how much? How many troops do they have over there in, uh, on the Eastern Front? I couldn't tell you, but I think we're going to have to attack here to get those guys destroyed, unfortunately. But I think they'll be cut off no matter what once I take that province, though these two might be connected, actually. Yeah, they very well could be. So we will have to win there, I think. All right, but I think that tank can handle it. All right, let's get across this river here. Looks like we did win there. Excellent. Uh, this guy's going over this way. Uh, and, yeah, let's just go and push forward with this motorized division. Let's go all the way over here. Uh, might as well. And you guys need to get on this front. Come on, do some work, man. Be sitting around. Got stuff to be done. All right. Uh, did get some divisions cut off here. Looks like we don't have enough divisions assigned, so let's go ahead and attack them uh, until whoever's supposed to be assigned here gets their asses over here. Um, I couldn't tell you why that's the way it is. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Uh, all right. So these guys are taking care of this and the fall of Kiev. All right. Got that knocked out. Excellent. Uh, it does look like there's a little bit of resistance here. Um, okay, well, we'll do it as... You know what? No, we should probably attack them first. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, that might not be enough. Yeah, we should probably go across here then. We might need to give these guys a little bit of assistance. In fact, let's go ahead and create a front here uh, so that we don't lose divisions over here. That get cut off, which is definitely something that could happen here. All right, so the tanks have finished up their job. Uh, so... We'll have to have these guys wrap this up. And they'll come up behind them, I suppose. Yeah. Why don't you guys get over here behind them? Take all that territory for us. We do have some military factories. Let's go and get those assigned. I'm guessing those are the ones we took from Kiev. Uh, we'll take a look at what we need the most. Artillery and motorized. Uh, medium tanks can use a bit more. Uh, factories as well. I think part of that is efficiency, as we talked about before. Yeah, the efficiency still is not quite where we want it, but we're going to go ahead and start building into those a little bit more. Uh, but let's get the artillery built, because I really feel like we don't have enough artillery. Uh, and then the... How are we doing on the motorized? Motorized at 20 right now. That's not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and place uh, any future factories. We'll just kind of build this up just a little bit. And I don't know how many of these we need. There we go. All right, so that looks good for right now. Let's take a look at the tungsten situation. That's right, I was going to trade for fuel. I forgot about that. So we'll go ahead and start doing that here in a minute. Uh, but let's first get this uh, tungsten situation dealt with. We're going to trade with the Portuguese. And then we're going to want to go ahead and trade for the fuel here with the Loyalist. Let's just get it up to where we're actually building it. Might need to give a few factories. It's okay. Yeah, that's not quite enough either. All right. Uh... This deal will use factories currently constructed building. That's okay. Will that get us up to? Kind of, yeah. We'll let it. We'll we'll take a look and see how that works. Yeah, that that'll work. Remember, we're gonna get the fuel from the Soviets as well. So that's something to consider too. Uh, we have taken all this over. Excellent. Let's go ahead and grab that province now. Uh, this one division isn't gonna be able to do this by himself. So we're going or he will, but it'll take forever. So we're gonna give him a little bit of assistance there. They're attacking across the river here, but winning. So we're gonna let it happen. And let's get these guys moving. So this guy's going that way. This guy here is going to move over this way. And these guys are going to push forward here. And right there as well. All right, so we did get this division here cut off, so we'll get them destroyed. And continue pushing forward. And yeah, this has just been a pretty easy battle overall. As I expected, the Soviets should not have declared war on us at this point. Like, they just weren't prepared. I think we're going to beat that guy. Yeah, we're going to beat him by half a day. Yeah, they should not have declared war. Uh, they were definitely not prepared for it. Uh, but, you know, that's the AI, man. That's the AI for you. Let's have this guy go up over here. And yeah, starting to get this wrapped up. Let's go ahead and have this division uh, push up here a little bit. 
And Tank's still coming up behind here. Still waiting on this guy. Uh, and he might come over here and assist him. It looks like he's going to try and take a province. That's okay. We're getting another division to assist him. Uh, I'm just trying to cut. You know what? In fact, let's just take just that province. And we'll let this guy come over here so we can get him destroy. Because uh, he has a port either way. So it doesn't really matter at this point. Okay. Looking pretty good. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Those are the cab divisions. I thought those were our, our divisions from up here. I was like, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, they ain't supposed to be down here. All right, so he's about to get that province. Excellent. Uh, we are losing here. Let's go and pull it back. No reason to do an attack, but we're not going to win. And then I'm really trying to get some troops cut off here, if we can make that happen. Yeah, we should be able to get all these dudes here cut off. All right, fantastic. So 94 days until we get the fuel reserves completely filled. Uh, they did get a bunch of troops cut off here for, in Greece. That's awesome. Did a good job there. No, it wasn't intentional, but... We'll pretend that it was. Uh, let's see if these guys are ready. They are ready. Let's go and put them into that training army now. And this guy here is ready to go back onto his front. He's done training. And then we're going to want to make sure that the troops here that we... Uh, looks like this guy's not quite ready. He had a little bit of experience. Let's go and put that guy in there. And then I want to say some of these troops might need a bit of training as well. Yes, sir. All right. Make sure that we get these guys training up. And once the equipment situation gets a little bit better, we'll assign a few more. Uh, we're still needing a lot of artillery right now. Uh, so I'm going to slowly build those out to the 40 width division designs. And I know it's taking from building like new divisions, but that's okay. I want you guys to go ahead and take over all this territory for me. So we'll take care of that. All right. And let's go ahead and have, I think this guy's going. Yeah, well, so we'll have that guy grab that. This guy's going there. And let's have this. Okay, he's already done it. Fantastic. All right, so he's going to grab that province. Uh, let's see if we can't grab Moscow, Moscow, excuse me, with this uh, tank division. And then we'll go this way. All right, so they canceled Lundlease, which is probably good since I can't uh, can't tick their autonomy down at this point, unfortunately. Let's go and have these guys go here. We don't need this many divisions doing this. That cab division's doing it for us. Huh. All right, let's have that guy go there, and these guys go over here. And in fact, there's an opening right here, so let's go and take advantage of that and try and grab it before somebody else gets there. I'm going to grab that province too, though I think they might end up getting there before us, but that's okay. Let's go and push forward here, guys. Again, we could be moving a little bit faster if I did let the AI control this, uh, but it's fine. I don't mind doing a little bit of micromanagement. All right, so we do have this tank done here, so let's go and grab these two provinces for us. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and have this division go. I'm gonna actually gonna let those guys there uh, go over there so that we can easily destroy them. And this guy, yeah, is going there. Uh, and then we'll take this tank and have let these guys wipe that out. And let's just start moving towards these victory points here. Just trying to get them knocked out. Oops. Have this guy go towards that one. All right. So uh, pushing forward, guys, ever so slowly. Uh, do we have any troops done training? We do not. All right, and let's just have that guy grab that province. And I don't think there's very many victory points up here at this point. Uh, we we'll probably just want to like race towards that one, I guess. And then these guys here can race towards that one. And we'll just kind of slowly fill them in. Uh, they can cut troops off, I don't really care. Uh, if they do, it's fine. Uh, in fact, with this one, we'll actually let him uh, go that way if he wants, because it's gonna end up not going well for him. All right, and then he's going towards the capital. So if we can't grab that up before any other troops realize where we're going. Attack over this way. Uh, I want to get this cut off here, but yeah, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. Hmm. All right, let's have this guy go here. Let's see if he can't get a win. No, I can't. Yeah, we don't have enough divisions down over here. All right. Not really anything I can do about it, though, at this moment. Uh, so this guy's going over here. Let's have him go this way. And... Yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and start pushing forward here. These everybody wants to, everybody wants to be a hero over here. Try and get the fuel. All right, let's go ahead and take those guys out there, and then we'll have this guy attack there. All right, excellent. So we'll get those divisions destroyed. There is a dude here that we're having to fight, unfortunately. All right, uh, let's go ahead and attack then with this division. And then let's have this guy come take care of that territory for us. All right, now this guy's done. We're gonna have him move. Over here, we're just going after victory points at this point. I know it's not the cleanest view, uh, but that is fine. It doesn't really matter at this point. Really, we're just trying to take territory. Yeah, but the Soviets can't stop us. Uh, they just don't have the troop numbers. 
They should not have gotten this fight. Uh, and there we go. Took another key province there. All right. Uh, I've been kind of spending time on that for the last two weeks in the game here. So let's just take a look if there's anything I need to be aware of. Like, are we wasting factories? We are not. All right. Make sure there's nothing I need to be trading for or, or trading too much of. Uh, as you can see here, we're trading with Portugal. We can pull those back. And um, Luxembourg just joined the Allies. Okay. So we don't even have to get a claim against them because, yeah, they are now part of the Allies. So we'd want to extend our front here to cover that, but I can't. Yeah, that's a shame. All right, so I'm really hoping that the Allies don't don't go to war with us until we get the Soviets defeated. That would make things really easy for us, honestly. Uh, let's go and have this guy go grab that victory point. Yeah, it'd just get, it'd get really really easy for us if they if they don't uh, uh, declare war until after we're already done with the Soviets. Uh, it's gonna make it uh, much easier to deal with the the Allies overall. All right, so I don't know how far we have to go. Typically, you do have to go a lot farther. I think we talked about this before. Uh, but you do have to go a lot farther now, uh, ever since they, they redid the, uh, you know, added the war support and stability. When it comes to beating the Soviet Union, it just, you got to take more land, uh, which is unfortunate, um, but that's fine. Uh, so this guy's going here, and I, I want him to, so that we can cut him off. In fact, we'll go over here, and then maybe uh, he'll be there by that point. They're moving so freaking slow, though. <laughs> our, our guys are way faster. Uh, so let's have... Yeah, there's really not a lot I can do here. Let's go this way. We, we completely failed in the attempt to cut these troops off, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a real shame. That's not how I wanted that to go. Let's go and attack over this way. And let's have this division come over here. And then this one here is going to support this attack. Maybe we can cut them off right there by locking them down with that tank unit and then cutting them off there. Yeah, because that didn't go quite the way I would have liked, unfortunately. All right, and just delete. Oops. Damn it. I fucked that up, didn't I? My bad, guys. I think you can extend all the way across here. Alright, so I'm aware that this fucking front is way too damn wide. It's not much to be done about it, though, guys. I mean, I guess there are things to be done about it, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Alright, so let's go ahead and have that guy go this way, and I think I have to redo all these attacks, don't I? Yes, sir. Alright, let's go ahead and have that guy... Oh, damn. We're going to have to pull this back, then. Have him attack there. Ah, they got out. Shit. Damn it! So me doing that did fuck everything up. All right, well that's a shame. Have these guys go over here, and yeah, I do have to set all of these up again. Ah, damn you! All right, so this guy—that's right. We had him going over here, and I'm trying to fix all that front. All right, so that looks pretty good. I do need to get this guy going again. All right, there we go. Let's take a look at the situation over here. Make sure we got you know troops constantly moving and fighting. Uh, and let's go ahead and have this division here help wrap those guys up there. And yeah, we're going to try and get those oil fields back down there. And uh, I think that'll be super helpful for the war effort. We'll take this up even higher. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy go across here. He's just going to take provinces. And we're going to have this guy go over here. The, he might already be. Oh, he's already going there. All right, we'll have this. We need to get to Stalingrad. So we'll start moving up there towards Stalingrad. And I'm just hoping that they don't get behind me too much with this very, very wide front that we have. I guess we'll just have to see how that ends up going. Let's go and push forward here. Yeah, their divisions are... Yeah, they just don't have it, man. They don't have it. Let's go ahead. These guys go over here. And I think that guy's going that way, yeah. So we'll go up this way then. Let's attack right there. All right. Um... Yeah, that's unfortunate. This this whole situation here just did not go the way I would have liked. So then stop this attack and then attack right there instead. See if we can't cut him off here. See how that ends up going. Uh, clearly, this attack is not going to work. I'll stop it. I'll grab that province instead. Uh, that one's not going to work either. So we'll stop him then. I'm just trying to fill in these borders a little bit because yeah, they're <laughs> uh, yeah they're a uh, little bit ugly here. All right, looking pretty good. Did we get those troops training? I forgot to check those. Enough to deploy. They're at 15%, I think it's 20% in order to deploy them so soon. Uh, Cause I want to get them going over there before we're in a, at war with the allies. Cause frankly, yeah, that would not go well trying to send troops all the way over there. Uh, I think it would end up resulting in us having uh, a lot of dudes sunk at sea. Uh, let's go ahead and increase the garrison area here. We're gonna garrison this as well since 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to garrison all that. In fact, the cavalry might even help us uh, take over some of this, I suppose. In fact, I don't know if we control these zones here. Uh, we might need to go ahead and take a look at our air force as well. And uh, see what they're doing. Alright, so that looks pretty good uh, for the cav divisions. Let's see if any of those cavalry divisions are done training. Not yet. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our planes, the plane situation. All right, moving into this area, we still are here, though, so we do need to support them. Uh, this one here, I mean, yeah, we might as well continue supporting. We don't really need to move anybody at this point. Planes are in a good... Well, we could move them. What we could do is move them into closer air bases, I suppose. Uh, that would probably be wise. Uh, let's get these 600 here going towards... Oh, Lord. All right, what we want to do is have this guy, these two going here. Tactical bombers can go there. And this guy can go here. All right, excellent. No closer air bases on this side of things. I do see a few over here though, so let's go ahead and get these moving. Uh, we can actually just place them all on the same one. I don't know if that's closer to the center or not for those fighters. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys push forward. Again, I don't really care about some of this, this land here. This guy did win there. Uh, looks like we're attacking across a river there. That's not really desirable. Uh, I know it's yellow, but yeah, I'd prefer to not uh, do that if we can avoid it. Let's go and grab these. Actually, let's go this way. Grab these victory points. And we'll have these guys continue down the coast, all the way down the coast. Grab that for us. All right, fantastic. I don't know what you guys are doing, but why don't you come over to this front? They should be able to win on their own, hopefully, anyway. These guys can, can support them, if not. Uh, this guy's going all the way across here. Excellent. All right. Looking pretty good. Uh, let's go and grab that province across the river there. Uh, we did get defeated here, unfortunately. All right, it looks like we got defeated there as well. All right, well, they're pushing forward here a little bit uh, as we just don't have enough uh, troops to cover this whole border. In fact, let's go ahead and decrease uh, the border a little bit. Although, I'm a little bit hesitant to do this because it's not like these guys have like a lot of troops themselves, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, either way, this is everybody's way too overextended at this point. We just don't have enough divisions. And we're we're in a similar problem that the uh, having a similar problem that the, the Soviets are having. We don't have a, enough divisions to cover this entire front. It's just we're doing it managing it a little bit better than the AI is because it's the AI. Uh, so still same problem though. I just can't cover cover all these provinces. I wasn't a race towards that, but let's see if we can't cut these guys off if at all possible. All right, and yeah, those guys grabbing that province. Excellent. So yeah, just real slow going with the manual control. Uh, but once again, it's more optimum. Uh, we're getting, uh, it's just better attacks overall uh, that we're doing here. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll wipe out that here in a little bit. And yeah, like stuff like this, they're gonna lose. Let's pull it back. Same with this, you know, the AI would never do that. And I would have to pull it back, but then they would just redo the attack, of course, because that's what they do. All right, we've got no, that's not our naval battle. Never mind. Uh, the Black Sea right now is is not the place to have your ships. Our allies got all their ships over there, and yeah, it's probably not the best place for them to be having them. All right, so let's go ahead and have this guy race towards Leningrad. Uh, we tried doing it this way, and it didn't work. And then this guy here will come out here and take care of these provinces for us. All right, and then the, when this guy gets over here, we'll have him advance up this way towards uh, Stalingrad. I said, I think I said Leningrad. I meant Stalingrad. All right, so went in there, uh, and do have openings here. So let's go ahead and take right. advantage of those. And we'll have this guy just go up this way. Right, while this second. dude goes this way. And probably not gonna beat that guy, so I won't plan for anything else. Uh, and we do have a decision available. Let's take a look. Let's permit SS recruitment in Estonia. We will go ahead and do that decision. We'll continue to do these. Uh, though, I don't really want to get in the negative. You know what? Let's wait a little bit. We'll wait to do that. Uh, just in case something happens. I don't want to be in the negative uh, at all with those decisions because we still are trying to improve uh, fascism here in China. And we need to get that done. Uh, there are a few other countries that like to tick up fascism as well. Uh, but we'll wait on that. Uh, well, you know what? I kind of really want to start working on Brazil. So let's go ahead and do Brazil. Uh, because I really don't want to be at war here in Americas. But if we are, I'd prefer American... Uh, you know, South American countries to take care of it for us. You know, Venezuela and Brazil. Uh, so let's go ahead and boost party popularity here. And I know that's going to take a little bit of our political power, but that's okay, guys. Not too worried about it. All right. Uh, tanks are done here, so we can go ahead and make sure that we cut this off so they can't can't come down here. And that'll let us kind of just have free reign down here and take over all this territory. Uh, and then this guy here is going to come take care of 
the territory here kind of close that up for us uh, and then that guy's going his way so we don't need to let's go ahead and have this guy go over here have this guy come down here instead I don't know, I'll just take that province right now I'll deal with them later all right let's grab that province up there and let's go ahead and have this motorized take care of that just because he's nice and quick and I'm going to attack here as well. I don't know. Win. Yeah, it looks like that would be a win. Let's grab that province. All right, yeah, just look at this front, man. There's like nobody on the majority of the front. Uh, but it's going to allow us to, to cut off divisions pretty easily. Uh, that's going to be one advantage. Uh, because they'll they'll push forward here. And uh, yeah, that'll allow us to cut them off. Go and attack there. And we'll support with these guys. I do want to take that victory point back. Uh, we'll take a look at the end of the episode on how casualties look and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, these guys here are going out. We're going to have to attack over that way. Let's go and have this guy go here while he goes the southern route. Uh, and then this dude here is just going to close this up for us. And, um, you know, taking all of these does help with getting them to capitulate. And it just keeps them busy, too. Alright, so... We need to take that point or come up around here. I'm having some difficulty getting these guys uh, cut off, unfortunately. If they want to keep pumping divisions over here, that's fine. Uh, we'll let them, but yeah, having some problems, guys, trying to get this done. We'll go over here and let's go ahead and yeah, let's attack them right there, too, because they're trying to cut us off. Yeah, the front is getting a little bit unruly, guys, uh, up there in the north. Uh, because they, they pulled all the divisions from the south, and now they just kind of let me do what I want down here. Uh, and, and now the north, we don't have enough. Uh, enough troops up there. All right, and then this army is just really small, uh, so they can't really do much. Pull this back here. I think that's going to help much, but we'll do it anyway. It's going to have that guy moving forward. Uh, the cavalry divisions, as you can see, they're pushing the front forward too. That's not going to work uh, there, so we'll stop that. Let's go and grab that province there. All right, so now they're moving south again. Yeah, it's just it's just when you're fighting against the AI, it's so hard to like figure out what the hell they're doing. Uh, they just move divisions just randomly. Uh, damn. You know what? Let's not fight him. There's no reason when there's so many open provinces here to take. Alright, so this guy is not going to win here, so let's go just go that way. Let's go up here. I'm going to let that guy go wherever hell he wants to go. Uh, there are some key victory points over here we want to get. Most importantly, uh, Stalingrad, which it does seem that we got cut off on our attempt to get Stalingrad. Uh, they stopped us. Let's go this way. And then this guy here is still trying to take care of provinces for us. And he's going that way. All right, so that looks good. Uh, these guys could cut us off if they so desired. Uh, instead of going up to that victory point, let's go and grab some of these ones down here. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and take take care of that one. And then we'll just kind of beeline up oops, to that one. Uh, and this division here will help us with this task. Let's have him go along the edges of the border there. All right, so yeah, it's just a, a slow process trying to get the Soviet Union knocked out of the war. Uh, we're going to go a couple more minutes here, guys, and then we'll take a look at, at how we are in getting them defeated. Um, let's have this guy be lying over to here. All right, and I'm going to attack them there. That's fine. All right, so let's see if we can't grab... Let's attack these guys, and then have this division here cut them off, if possible. And then... I don't know if those divisions are still there. It looks like they might have pulled out. Yeah, they knew what was going on. They knew they were about to get cut off. We did sink a Soviet submarine. All right, well, little victories, guys, little victories. Let's take a look at our troops that are training over here. Yeah, we did have some that can get pulled off. And one over here, oh, they're both here. Okay, oh, whoa, not bad. All right, excellent. Uh, let's just take a look at the equipment situation. It hasn't changed much. We're still in February, of course, because of this slow ass progress that we're making. <laughs> Uh, some people don't like the manual control. I understand why, guys. I could definitely see why you wouldn't like the manual control. It's it's really slow. Uh, you know, we make extremely slow progress. And in this situation, I guess you could have the AI in control because uh, we're doing just as stupid stuff as they would be doing with some of this, this you know, trying to push forward really aggressively. Uh, let's go with these guys up here. All right, so they're going to go here. We'll have them take that territory there. Let's have these guys push forward over here. And I feel like I should be able to get that guy reconnected, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's have this guy go this way. And where are the troops at? Okay, so we're going to want to have this division start pushing forward here. Yeah, and he's going to take care of all that for us. And, yeah, I'm getting it taken care of. 
it's just such a massive and wide front, guys. So there's going to be little problems here and there. Uh, but yeah, you notice they can't even man the majority of it either. Uh, what throws me off, though, is when they end up... Uh, oops, I don't want to go that way. Just right there. Is how they, they move the units so rapidly, man. Like, you just don't know where the hell they're going to be at. And trying to predict what the AI is going to do is, like, impossible. I suppose that makes them trickier, I guess. I suppose you could look at it that way. All right, we're gonna grab this and try and get behind all those divisions. There's a lot of divisions there. Uh, so we'll go around here, see if we can't get this, this guy's cut off. Go here and then here. That should cut them off. Get that attack going, just keep them locked down. We need to take that province, excellent, that's good to see. These guys are taking care of their orders as well. Uh, looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, I think everybody's moving. I'm just basically looking for units that aren't moving and then moving them. That's uh, pretty, uh, Pretty basic here. Oh, these guys are losing. And let's have this guy attack there. All right. Uh, so this guy is clearly not assigned to a front. Or he's worried about supply, probably. Yeah, I bet he's worried about the supply. All right, so we need to get this unit here reconnected here. It's wide open, so might as well go ahead and do that now. Uh, and you know what? Let's have this guy go ahead and go up this way instead of whatever the hell he was doing. And then we're gonna have this division here cut off that guy there. Um, in fact, he almost has that, so we can go and have him go this way instead. And then have this guy um, come over here and then attack him. Like so. All right, beautiful. All right, so these guys are slowly getting this taken care of for us. Let's have this division march up this way. And then have this guy can continue his march where he's going. Just change him up just a little bit. All right, so we did reconnect these guys, which is excellent to see. So if they uh, push us back, then that's fine. We're going to try and cut off this division here. Actually, I think that guy's going up that way, so we can just go up here then. Kind of thicken that uh, little line up there. All right, let's go and take these provinces here. We'll attack the cab division. Why not? And that one's not going to work. Attack there. Yeah, but it's just trying to predict the movement of these guys is impossible, man. Because, yeah, they're just bouncing them all over the damn place. So, yeah, you have no idea what the hell they're going to do. I suppose that makes them uh, makes them good. That's good AI for you, right? Because uh, you can't predict them uh, what they're going to do. Because it's so nonsensical. Attack there. Uh, it looks like we are winning there, so we're actually pushing them back, which is not what I wanted, because I wanted to cut these guys off here. All right, and they're attacking us there as well. All right, so we're going to have to add a little bit of uh, girth to that, that front. These guys could maybe beat them. Let's take a look. Six hours, probably not then. No, no, that's going to take a little while to get across that river. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and have this division. I'd love for this guy to get cut off, so we'll go ahead and let him uh, attack there if he wants. And then we'll have this division here go there, I guess. Although uh, he might be there so dang quick. It's going to be one, one day... One day, one hour total? Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah, that won't be enough. So we'll just have him go right there for right now. And let's go ahead and try and grab that province there. Although, I would love to get these guys cut off. So let's see if we can't make that happen. Try and bring it, uh, bring some of these divisions down so we don't have to fight so many of them. All right. Um, let's attack here. I don't know if he'll win. We'll end support with this guy. And that would not be a win. All right, that's interesting. So a lot of divisions down here in the south. So they kind of just let us dominate in the south for a long time. And uh, now they're now they're doing something to stop us. Probably because we're you know here at the point we're about to take Leningrad, so they're kind of concerned about us now. Finally, it took them long enough, but they're finally reacting to the fact that they're uh, in a bit of trouble here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this division here. Just have both these guys attack here. And then have that division go take care of that and then wipe out this territory for us. Uh, the tank's just about done there. Uh, or he is done. Okay, so I think this guy's going this way. So let's have this guy just kind of take care of all this for us. And that should be good. Well, this division goes around the side. Now let's take a look over here and see what we sunk. Uh, or, well, we lost. We lost five convoys. All right, anything else? Uh, we lost some more convoys. Yeah, our convoy escorts aren't doing the trick over here, but our planes are helping sink in submarines there, so at least we're doing a little bit of damage to their, their efforts to sink us, uh, sink our convoys. Let's go ahead and have an attack happen over here, right there. Yeah, it looks like the weakest spot. Uh, these guys support that attack. 
or something. <laughs> These guys go over here and right there. Yeah, I just can't get them cut off, man, because the fronts are just too freaking wide. See so if we can't beat this division here, we might be able to. Yeah, we should be able to, and then we'll destroy him. At the very least, we'll get one of them destroyed. And yeah, let's have that division take that province there. What is going over here? All right, he's taking care of all of this for us. He's going to have this fixed a bit. All right, excellent. Okay, so we're going to be getting this wrapped up here soon. And we'll send these guys over here to kind of help out with it as well. Uh, in fact, let's just go ahead and have this division. Let's go straight to the back there. We'll take this guy, have him kind of help us out a little bit. All right, a lot of divisions are sitting around not doing anything. So that's not desirable. So let's... uh. Try and get them assigned, get them doing some work here. Uh, we'll have this division come over this way, and then this guy is going to go grab that victory point for us. Okay, uh, so that's actually going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, it's, it's slow going, but uh, we're getting them conquered. They're going to be knocked out of this war uh, in moments. If we just take a look here, uh, well, maybe not moments, it's 49%, uh, but we don't have Moscow yet, so that's a uh, key, very uh, important get victory point here. So once we get that in Stalingrad, uh, I think we'll be pretty close. I think it's... I think it's like you gotta go all the way to right about here, so I might be a little bit wrong here. Uh, but yeah, you gotta go pretty far, maybe even further than that now. It's ridiculously far that you have to go in order to get them to capitulate. Uh, so it's probably gonna be another episode of this, micromanaging this. I, I would love to put the AI in control, but because I keep flip-flopping the fronts, I don't really want the AI like doing any of the fighting. And if they were only on one front, like if they were only here in the north, then I could you know, uh, autom automate like the south or something like that, but they keep just bouncing their divisions back and forth from each front, and I never know what the hell they're doing. Uh, so that's the reason why uh, I've kind of been controlling this myself. I think it's kind of the best way to do it. Uh, and and we're almost done. We almost got it done, guys. Just taking a look at the casualties. They've taken 815,000, which is not very much for the Soviet Union. That's not too bad. Uh, but they, yeah, they, they still can't stop us for whatever reason. Uh, and they have a lot of divisions available, too. I just think that there's so many on the Eastern Front, perhaps. Maybe. I mean, they don't even have as many as they used to have over here. So I can't even tell you why. I almost want to go ahead and pull these guys in now, if they're willing. Uh, it looks like they're not willing to. Not just yet. Uh, yeah, we just need one more positive. So I think it, somebody mentioned this. If we improve relations with them just by a bit, then they'd be more likely to, to do it. Uh, so we could go ahead and do that. So we can pull them in, and they can start taking territory over there. And then we'll also go ahead and improve relations of, I think, the Americans and the Chinese as well. Try and get them more likely uh, to, although it's not really all that helpful until they go fascist. Yeah, I guess there's no real reason to do it yet until they've actually turned fascist. So we'll wait on that front. Uh, yeah, so we'll just increase their opinion for right now. Let me take a look and see if anybody's done training. We do have some cab divisions done. Looks like all the cab divisions are done, so let's go and put them into the, uh, oh, one of them's not. All right, well, we're going to train him just for the experience. He doesn't need to train, but I think it, he took some casualties in a battle, uh, would be my guess. All right, so uh, got those into cab divisions, and yes, I should probably look at this. Oh, they are done. All right, so we want to go and deploy. I could have just played them all, but let's do this the long way. <laughs> let's see uh, uh, if we can't get these guys to hurry up and go to this frontier. Uh, we need them there, like stat. Uh, so let's go ahead and send, I'm just going to send them all to this uh, province right now. Are they not in a port like they should be? Oh, they're not. That's that's right. Okay, so we're going to have to send them there first and then send them over here. Before the allies jump into this war, uh, we're going to want more uh, troops over there. Let's take a look at the frontier. In fact, let's go ahead and bring this, this guy over to this province. Both these guys over to this province here, so we can attack over that way. Though I don't expect them to hold on to that territory with, with Venezuela in our faction. Uh, and the decisions, that's just the one decision. Yeah, that's just the one decision that we're kind of uh, ignoring for right now. We can also take a look at these two divisions here and see if they're about ready. It looks like they're, yeah, they're pretty solid, guys. Um, that's good enough. Uh, let's go and take them and, and put them into Heinz, uh, his army, because he is in desperate need of more troops. So I want to give him two more divisions, try and help out on that front there. All right, so that looks pretty good, guys. That's going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave. Oh, shit. We've got air experience we need to spend. I was waiting on getting these guys built here, but, yeah, that's stacked up. Huh. Damn it. All right, well, yeah, I don't know exactly 
I'm gonna want to do. I guess we're gonna use it on an old plane. Just use a little bit of experience on one of the older plane models. Because uh, yeah, it's gonna take us a while to get them all upgraded. But yeah, I, I did notice that. So we'll spend that next episode. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.